Hi, it's Kelly here. In this video, I'm going to tell you, particularly if you are if you make organite, how you can tame a hurricane, or at least help, can help to tame it, slow it down. It's, it's vitally important because five mile, <clears throat> a five mile reduction in a hurricane can cut in half the amount of property damage, and likewise it would probably do just as much or met, better saving lives, because when a tree falls on a house, you, a car, you never know who's inside. So this uh, video is going to be vitally important to you. If you use organite, if you built uh, you know, cloud busters, whatever, you're going to just absolutely love this. And it's really simple. Uh, and it's what you do is if you have, for example, a ceiling fan or a record player, what you're going to do is to take a piece of paper or, or an index card, whatever you want to use, and, and put some glue on it, some super glue, uh, and then you're going to sprinkle on your uh, your copper onto that, and it'll glue be glued on there. And if you have if you have uh, crystal dust, like quartz crystal would be best because we want something that's piezoelectric, meaning that the pressure of the movement will will spur its electrical uh, impulse to go out. Um, or small pieces of crystal, doesn't have to be dust. You can enter, you can put one of those or a couple of those on the on the index card, and then you're going to tape it down to the top side of your ceiling fan. Or if you have a record player, you can put it on say three sides of the record player, and uh, then you're going to just turn them on high. And what that does is it takes advantage of, of the properties of copper when it's moving. It generates electricity, just like they have it in the hydroelectric plants. For example, uh, the Hoover Dam. It takes a non-electrical Colorado River and converts it into energy electricity that's used by 40 million people because of the traffic lights and, and what have you. Even people who don't live there benefit from the electricity, but it's all coming from a mere 17 copper spinning copper turbines. So by you putting those. <clears throat> Excuse me. On ceiling fans or on record players, turn it on. It'd be really helpful. And I'm making this video now because of I Idalia is uh, a couple days away from striking Florida, and it, it could easily be a Category Four or Five because they have record-setting uh, warm water, and the warmest water is exactly on the track that it's following north and south to that area. So we really need your assistance um, in getting this now. And then you can keep it on there uh, for the future and uh, leave it running as long as you can. Uh, you know, if it bothers you if you're sleeping and it's too cold, you know, that's one thing. But, you know, just wear an extra blanket <laughs> so we can modify the, the hurricane. And, that, and the reason for this is you understand if you do organize already, that the impact it has on cloud formations. And hurricanes are simply what I call ion sandwiches, which is a layer of negative ions, neg neg negatively charged, positively charged ions, negatively charged, positively charged. And they're not used to being in a flat layer like that. It takes a lot of surface tension and energy to keep them together like that. And so they end up producing a tremendous amount of surface tension and frequencies that make make it swirl. It's always trying to move around, always trying to move, and and then when the, that creates, you know, the frequencies and that creates the lightning. And the lightning is is like the you know the powerhouse to to uh, drive it even further faster. So it's like it's a vicious circle going around. We want to convert it to a delicious circle. So you go ahead and get yourself. You know, whatever you want to use, uh, you know, a piece of cardboard might be good. Cut out a piece of cardboard from a box that you have, side of a box or whatever, and sprinkle it on there and put put it on each blade and away you go. If you have copper wire, you can also take the copper wire, if you're putting it on a, on a fan, a ceiling fan, measure each one so they all have the same weight, and then you're going to fold it in half, and one end is going to be looped. And that changes the properties 
from being, because uh, copper wire is just, you know, you've got negative on one end and it's going, coming out the other end, right? It's, it's driving like that in one direction. But when you fold it in half and they're next to each other, now you've got negative and negative and it's creating frequencies. So now you're going to take that copper wire, if you have it, you take a drill. If not, you could use your hand. It would be a little bit difficult. It'd make them, make them short if, in that case. Um, and gently, very gently, have it wind and, and, and t twist it. Um, if you do too much, it'll, it'll kick up. And so you, you're trying to avoid that. So now you've got that like that. And you, uh, you can either use the loop in and, and have it looped over the fan blades, um, you know, hanging down like tassels, or you can uh, just tape them on the fan at you know equal distance on all all blades, further you know how far out you want to go, and uh, just tape them on there and turn the fan on, and it's it's fantastic. You could do the same thing on a record player. You could set this pr twisted wire on the record player like that, and uh, it, in each case, oh the twisting is also extremely beneficial because uh, the, the twisting of the wire makes this stronger. And in effect, it, it shoots out a stronger fre frequency. It's always, it's always bumping into the other copper wire go energy going the other direction, so it's producing a lot of frequencies, countless frequencies, which is what we want. We want friendly frequencies in the air. The air has too many uh, man-made frequencies from 5G, 4G, Wi-Fi, smart meters, I call them smart beaters, um, and they're repetitive. And we need something going out there that is of an irregular shape. And when they bump into each other, then, then all of them become fractal, which is, which is your irregularly shaped uh, frequency. That's your friendly frequencies. So you're converting the bad frequencies into good frequencies. And there's a ton of those b good freak, bad frequencies out there. So you you know, each little thing you made is doing a tremendous job, just fantastic. I mean, if you think it's doing nothing, no, it's doing it's doing crazy, crazy good. It really is. You know, those clouds that you're that you're dispatching with your tower busters or, or cloud busters, um, they could be they could be five miles in the air, and that thing's going up there and getting them, and it's doing it you know in an area. Well, now when you put it on spinning, I've zapped them, I've zapped them in my car with a handheld fan. It cost 250 for Walmart on a little fan, psh, 10 miles ahead of me. And I know they were 10 miles ahead of me because I was driving for 10 miles before I got to them. But it would, it, it would. Uh, these were rain clouds, you know. And there was, this was at a time. I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago, four, four years ago, I guess it was. There was a, a huge number of floods going on. Like a record, like a foot of rain at different places, and I had to get back and forth 50 miles, and I needed some, I needed to get there and back because I was moving. I couldn't afford not to be where I needed to be, because I was because I was spending a couple thousand dollars moving, so uh, I was using that, and only two drops of rain hit my windshield, and I made a total of 150 miles of traveling back and forth, uh, to, and and these were row after row because because Panama City had just gotten their 5G. Like I don't know, two, three, four weeks earlier, and uh, it was and the clouds. We had row after row after row, as far as you could see, those uh, the beautiful cumulonimbus clouds, and they would go as far as I could see. And not only that, but at night for two straight weeks, you could not see a single star in the sky or even the moon. That's how that's how much it, it generated, just that, like that. Those 5G things they say don't go very far, baloney. They go as far as they can until they're impeded. And they'll, they'll go across the ocean. <laughs> so uh, Verizon actually tested several miles and found out that if there was no tree or building, it would go that far. And that's as far as they tested. But it just kept on going. It goes all over. It's a myth that, that 5G is just localized. It goes and goes and goes. So anyway, so let's do this. Let's get the get sprinkled copper on your on your uh, cardboard or whatever and uh, 
you know, glued on, let it dry for a few, a few minutes, it should be fine. On the speed of a, of a uh, ceiling fan should be all right after five minutes. Sprinkle copper, and if you have crystals, put crystals or crystal powder on it, um, and away you go. You're going to have, you're going to be doing magnificent. And you know, all that, those irregularly shaped clouds that they get up there, we're 70% water, so that thing going around inside of you, the question is, are, is the water inside of you irregularly shaped? It, or is it properly shaped? Is it in plasma shape? Well, having that thing spinning like that is going to make your water have fractal frequencies so that it can naturally find the shape that, that you need for your best health. Well, thank you for listening. I have other videos. I hope you'll, you'll uh, uh, check them out. And uh, also, if you want to know more about this energy I'm talking about, talk about different aspects of it in this book, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? So that, you're welcome to get that on Amazon. You take care, and God bless.